Um, yeah, so I was talking about uh, astrology and, and specifically you were talking about um, the balancing and come together and I was talking about seesawing. And um, what came up for me was um, uh, the the star sign of Libra and Libra is the uh, scales of justice. And what I've learned on my journey, and, and this might be, you know, might be helpful for you, might help you understand a, a bit better how the, uh, the process works between men and women is at first you end up on, um, you know, opposite ends right yeah. of, the, of the scales and and you know some of us are more dense than others and this is you know the process of you know one being higher than the other that we were talking about right yeah like, no 100 like, like the weighing scales with the ladder or, or ladder or weighing scales yeah the seesaw yeah i wow. understand that so it's the scales of justice and what happens is men and women they they walk the the opposite way they walk away from each other right and when you turn to face each other and you walk inwards, you start to become more balanced because you're not at the end and it's not like these big adjustments. So when you come yeah. closer, you become more in balance. There's less wobbling. And eventually what happens is you meet in the middle and you create something completely new. And you do yeah. that by healing the injustice that has happened to you and each other and together. Right. So that's what Libra is about. Can I, can I, can I, reflect that back to you so i know that i've got a good understanding of that because mm. um i think that's definitely something that should be practiced more in men's groups or with men in general it's just if you because you've got to understand it from your own perspective right so you're saying that man and woman they come together and then they're facing their you know they're on their journey and as they're going through their journey they come further apart and that creates more of a wobble on that seesaw because they're further apart no they start apart Oh, they start apart, right? So they start apart and there's all of this rocking because yeah. obviously the pinpoint is here in the middle. Mm -hmm. But then when they turn and face each other and work on that journey and come closer together, the wobble becomes less yeah. as we as we get closer together. Right, okay, that's understandable. Yeah, okay, so thank you, for you that. start You start off imbalanced and then when you come closer together, you come into balance. Okay, no, I appreciate it. Sorry, thank you for giving me the second just to make sure I've got that right because yeah. it's important to make sure you understand it properly. Mm. That definitely um, rings true with me for... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. That's really new information to look at it in that perspective as well. Um, I find that... Um, You know, with with my, with my new person, it's very. I feel like we haven't started so far away from each other. I feel like we're we've started quite close together, and even in those wobbly moments, they haven't been like they haven't been so extreme. They've just been there and there kind of thing. You can still keep it in sight. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. what 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 can happen and at the drop of a hat is you can turn around and both walk in the opposite directions. Ah. Yeah. Right. So and and this has happened to me uh uh with my current partner. This is how we we understood the process is sometimes when we hurt each other we would walk away from each other and then we would understand how we hurt each other and then we would turn around and walk back in again. I'm back in, yeah. It's a okay. process of going in and out, in and out, in and out, and you you get closer and closer to the middle. Mm. It's it's very, very deep and uh challenging process. And as I said, it's about it's about healing the injustice of what's happened to you. 